Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, just here to make another WNBA video. Uh, thanks to everybody that's been watching and people that have sent me some messages and people that have occasionally commented. Um, please feel free to comment, and I need, I like I'm dying to talk about WNBA with somebody. So feel free to uh, comment on what you think of uh, what I'm saying in all these videos. Um, it was fun watching the Olympics, but it's kind of fun having everybody back on their teams and, and seeing the WNBA uh, battle it out with each other. You know, we're, we're past the halfway point of the season. Uh, the New York Liberty have like locked their playoff spot and playing really well. Today is uh, today is Saturday the 24th. Um, so I'm at the, the New York Liberty and the Kinetic Sun just got done playing, um, and the Sun beat them. Even, Liberty's got the best record in the league, but guess what? The Sun are no joke. Um, their defense was crazy good tonight, and they beat the Liberty. Um, and it's halftime right now of the uh, the Fever and the uh, the Minnesota Lynx, and it's shaping up to be a really really good game. Um, I got so many things to talk about, but I'm gonna talk about one thing tonight. I'm gonna try to stay focused. Uh, the Atlanta Dream. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's 12 teams in the league, and some of them I, I love, and some of them are just whatever, and some of them I don't care about at all because there's you know you can't you can't absolutely be in love with every single team, right? So Atlanta is definitely one of the teams that I don't really pay attention to. Um, but guess what? You got to pay attention to them now because going into the Olympics, they had lost eight games in a row, eight in a row, like leading up to the all-star break. Uh, they came back from the all-star break from the Olympics and have won, they won three out of four. Uh, so it's like, you know, where, where's it coming from? What did they do during their break? Uh, they, they've been dominating. It's really cool. And they've been the underdogs in all of those games. Um, I, I made a little cheat sheet of notes. So on August 16th, uh, they played Seattle and they won by two points. They won 83 to 81. Um, Seattle, I don't, I don't know how much they were favored, but I would imagine they were probably favored by five or six points at least. Um, and, and Atlanta came out and just like dominated them. And I'll tell you who it was, it was, uh, Ryan Howard, uh, not the Ryan Howard, you might be thinking of from the office, uh, but Ryan Howard, the, the uh, I think that's how it's pronounced, Ryan, right? Ryan Howard, uh, dude, she killed it. She was, uh, she had 30 points. She was five for nine from three point range. Um, if you get a player going five for nine from a three point range, like you know what I mean? Everyone talks about Caitlin Clark, like she wishes she could go five for nine. I'm, I'm sure she has sometimes, but tonight playing against the Lynx, Caitlin Clark is like two for nine. <laughs> so going five for nine is a big deal. Ryan Howard like killed that game. Uh, two days later, they played uh, the Connecticut Sun, who I was just talking about. Um, Howard didn't do as much. That game was mostly Tina Charles uh, with 22 points. Um, but Atlanta, at the bottom of the list, Connecticut at the top of the list, they beat them by 12 points. So um, anyone can beat anyone at any time. Uh, Three days later, on August 21st, they played Phoenix, and they beat Phoenix by nine points. Uh, Howard had uh, 19 points, and Alicia Gray had 21 points. Um, so three games in a row, just dominant, dominant, dominant. And then two days later, they played Phoenix again, and they lost by two points. So it was a very close game. Um, but they've won three out of four coming back from the break, and all of a sudden they're like, moving up the chain and they're like, Hey man, we're, we're still in this. We still want to get those playoffs. So it's pretty cool. Um, uh, some team I haven't really paid attention to this year. I'm, I'm paying attention to them now. So it's great. Uh, they play the Indiana fever on Monday, uh, the 26th. So it should be a really good game. Um, does anybody have a favorite player on the, the Atlanta team? Does anyone love or hate Atlanta? Tell me why. Uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks.